Hi everyone, this is our 8th video of our series on Intuin uh, Linear Regression Machine Learning Project. So in this particular video, we are going to create a fast API based on our solution that we have built in our previous videos. And after building a fast API, I will try to create a Docker image and run that Docker image. So if you don't know how to create a fast API, so you I will I will mention a video link in the description or in the i button uh, so you can follow along right so let's start so first in fast api we need to import some package so first package is the uvcon package so i will import this uvcon package so this package is act as a server and it will run our fast api application and then from fast api uh, I need to import fast API class and create an instance of the fast API right and let's first create one simple get method and check whether our fast API is working or not right for that I need to create like def home and when this method will call I simply return one message message so this message will tell that api is working right and to know this how this application will know that to call this uh, this home method right for that i need to include a decorator and as we are going to use the gate i'm just simply pa passing the gate right and then the same thing to run this application i need to provide like name and from ubicon i will run this app right now try to run this so it's running so let's see in the browser so as you can see api is working right so let's create a post method where I need to pass some data and from that data I need to predict so if I go into the prediction uh, class that we have built on our seventh video you can see here we are doing we are calling this predict class and based on that we are performing some operations like right so let's let's create this one one post method so for I am just calling a decorator app dot post and I am just naming this predict okay and I call this method also predict and here I need to take a product right so for now We need to talk about this product right so once we request from a browser or from the any tool the data will come to this api in a json format right so how you can convert that json into something meaningful that this predict will catch that parse that and use that in our predict method right the simplest way or the recommended way by which we can do is to create a class for this product have with the fields associated like a json we are going to see right and having a certain base model which will support this fast api for that what i will i am going to use so from pydent pydent i need to import a base model right so this base model do all the heavy lifting for us like converting json into class and all like that right and then so i will create a class for product so let's create a class so i have written this code uh, previously so i am not going to write all the things again right so i will copy this and paste here you can see this is a product class simple 
and I am inheriting this product class with base model just extending this base model and I am providing some fields like brand currency price original price the way we have done here right in this one the same way I am doing right and after doing I can use this product model as a type for input in a post matter right after doing that what I need to do I need to call up predict matter so it's nothing special I'm just following this thing that we have done previously right I'm just copy pasting this some of the code here so first I need to import some of the things that I will use right so from training I think train I need to import train model and from predict I need to import predict and product let's do the heavy work right so for that what I, I, I need to do I need to create one instance so first I need to convert this this product into this product class right so that it can give us a data frame and from that data frame we will do and work right so for that also I have just conversion code I have written here I will explain about this so, nothing special is happening like this product class have these fields right and I'm just mapping these fields from the product class product from the product model class right and putting this all this value in the product it will give us a data frame called PR and what we will do first I will create a instance of predict predict right and so for, for data frame I will pass this into the uh, predict raw and I will pass this PR from the predict raw if I go into the predict from the I think this predict raw what it will do it will convert that into data frame pre-processing clean and after cleaning it will return as a data frame right so PR is a data frame so after that what I will do I will pass the data frame into the train model so train model I think dot load loading the model and after loading the model I will just call it pm dot predict P -R -E -D -S -E, predict is I am spelling the right yeah and then from PR first I need to drop something so I'm not doing a special thing here I'm just dropping I'm just calling this class this method I'm calling and after dropping it will give me some result so result it gives me into MP array so I will convert that into the uh, string I'm sorry int and after converting I just return this into a result right so this might work so let's we start this one I'm restarting as you can see it's started and let's refresh this page it's working right so I will go to the swagger in the swagger you can see we have get I can try it will give me a not working API working right and then I will try this one so these parameters is expecting right so I have written a map for this one I will take this map and replace this one so these are some values I'm passing and execute right so result you can see it's giving minus 890 so it's predicting the value so like that you can give 
different different values in the parameter and it will give you some result right so it seems that our project is working so now next thing is that we need to convert this uh, first API into docker right so first stop this one so for creating a docker image you first need to install a docker so in this video I'm not going to show you how you can install a docker you can go to the YouTube and based on your platform like Mac Linux or the Windows you can install a docker and after installing you can follow this uh, this instruction so first requirement is that you we you we need to create a file requirement.txt file so it can take all the package from this watch press environment and put that package into a requirement.txt file so once we create a build a docker image it will take all the things all the package from that requirement.txt and install in the docker image right so for that a simple command is there you can copy this one so it's taking from the pip it's listing all the package and after freezing they are just putting that into the requirement.txt if i run this one you can see one requirement.txt file is created right and after that we need to create one more file this is called docker docker file so you can see uh, icon is coming for the docker file and then i need to put some of the things in this in the docker file right so some of the things what we are going to put i have uh, i have created a docker file configuration i will copy that one and i will paste i will tell you simply if you google these are the common step that we need to do we need to perform to building a docker file so i am telling that install use this python 3.9 slim version then i am setting a working directory copying all the content so dot is the content to this app folder the working directory folder and then run these things so this update and build essential will install some of the things like gcc and other packages which is required to build some of the python module right and like then i'm just telling that install this requirement the txt upgrade the pip and setup tool and then expose that into the at so building we will just simply type docker first i will check docker images so see these are the images i have installed in my locker you don't have to worry about you simply type docker image and it will give you some message so you can understand that your docker is working or not or one more thing you can do you can open this docker application right and here you can see uh, my docker images are listed here right so let's build that one so first for building this docker image what we need to do simply type docker build then i will keep tag so like fast api watch price right and then for current directory so it will take some time and build our application so i will wait for that this our application is built so let's run so for running the docker image we need to type docker run then provide the port so i'm mapping the internal port with the external port and then i need to keep my name the name so what is the name of that one this is a fast api watch right and i will paste this one let's try to run so there is one error that app is main is not there okay so you can clearly see there is a problem so it's saying main module so i think this main has a problem so i will rename this one this file as main okay and after that so i will call this watch price one 
and build that one so as you can see our build process is done so let's replace this name with fast api i think slash one and if i build this one so it's running right and there i just type docs it's coming if i go and then again i need to paste this one this data so copy and execute it's giving me a result right so our one request has come and request has given some result and if you open the docker application you can see we have this fast api one and it's running right so let's wrap up this video here so this is my last video for this particular series if you want another other video or any explanation you can ask me on the comment right you can use this image to deploy this docker image in anywhere on the cloud or in any server right so thank you